I've got a story about Christmas. I grew up Jewish in Glasgow. Well, that's odd to start with, a Scottish Jew. But we had a secret Christmas. Because you grew up in this environment where you had your Jewish life and the non-Jewish life outside. And one of the points in the year where there was tension was around Christmas. Because we had Hanukkah, an eight-day festival where you light the lights and you get presents. But we missed out on Christmas. And so as a concession, we actually were allowed a Christmas stocking. So Christmas Eve came, it was just a regular night, and you went to bed. Um, so very excited, my brother and I, and probably didn't sleep that well. And magically, there at the end of the bed was the Christmas stockings. So we jumped up and threw out all the toys and played with them for the rest of the day. But the key here was secrecy. We could not tell anybody that we had a Christmas stocking. So there was no Christmas tree, no paraphernalia of Christmas, just a Christmas stocking. And we were told that we would be excommunicated if the rabbi ever found out. And the excuse my mother gave that it was okay was that Santa Claus was Jewish. Which of course made complete sense to us since Jesus was Jewish originally. Therefore, why wouldn't Santa? And the ultimate irony of this story of secret Christmases, Jewish Santas, Christmas stockings, is that a few years later I discovered we weren't alone in the Jewish community. Other kids in Glasgow also had Christmas stockings and also kept it secret. The second story I have is when I was in primary school and I was playing in the school band and the Christmas carol concert came around. I haven't opened this flute, which I got from my father for about 30 years. And when I opened it last night in preparation for this, I discovered that C and B do not play, so the B insists on playing B flat. So you'll have to forgive me. Very nervous doing this in front of the camera. And my father, the woodwind teacher, is about to spin in his grave as I play Silent Night with almost the same skill as I did at the age of 10. My mother was in a panic about this, because not only did we have the secret Christmas with the Christmas stocking and the Jewish Santa Claus, now she had a son playing in the Christmas carol concert, what was going to happen? Would we be excommunicated? So she actually, believe it or not, asked the rabbi, could I play the Christmas carols? And from on high, the pronouncement was, yes, I could play Christmas carols, as long as I did not sing the carols or even mouth the words. And wasn't that shite? If you fast forward a few years to when I was a junior doctor in Britain, I got to play out this fantasy of Santa being Jewish because it was the practice that Jewish doctors tended to do the roster at Christmas to allow the non-Jewish doctors to go off and have Christmas with their families. But of course on the kids' wards, somebody had to play Santa Claus. And sometimes that was me. British hospitals in those days were very old fashioned and the Florence Nightingale environment. So it felt a bit Santa-ish when you were doing it. So it was a bit weird. Uh, you had to get ready. And of course, once you're dressed up as Santa, my Jewish guilt was long behind me. And then you walked down these Florence Nightingale wards passing out the presents with uh, the kids in the beds. You've got to play up the role so that the kids continue to believe in Santa Claus as you walk around. And unfortunately, my act wasn't good enough and I was usually recognised. And I suspect the reason was my Scottish accent. <laughs> 